Hello and welcome to another interactive field obs with eco training. Here we are at beautiful Pridelands in the Pridelands camp. And the first question we're going to be asking you is a tree right here found all over the reserve and the camp. And it's this one right here. It's a beautiful tree. Um, this one's kind of small-ish. They can get a little larger than this, a little thicker. But what's amazing about this tree is that it's got a wonderful um, rough texture. So here is a very nice leaf that I just picked. You can actually hear that lovely, almost sandpaper-like texture. And in um, opposition to this leaf, you've also got beautiful smooth bark on the tree. Very smooth and almost silky in its feelings. Very soft, right? So the question is, what tree is this? What tree is this? The next question is right here at the dam just outside the camp. And we notice this big, beautiful leadwood tree that's normally got quite a rough bark has actually got a very smooth patch just over here. A very nice, big, smooth patch, just a little taller than me. And the question is, what has happened here? What went on? Why is this tree so smooth when all the rest of them are so rough? Continuing with our story of what's happening at the dam, we found this beautiful big track here. Now you can see it's a track with two halves and it's sunk quite deeply at the edges of this water hole. So what I want to know, and there's more than one track, it's a big group of animals that came down. What animal made this track? The next question is a cool one. We just saw a big bird wading on the side of the, of the dam here, and it just flew off to the right. Now, it's a rather large bird with a long neck and a big bill, and it was just wading along, catching what looked like fish and frogs at the edges of the water. What bird was that? If you listen carefully, we just heard an animal calling from at the water, or it actually sounded like it was coming from the water itself. So just listen for a moment, it might just make another sound. Did you hear that? That is what our, the next question is. What animal makes that sound? Well, if you guessed any of the common names of this tree, you are correct. And there are many common names. Sandpaper saucerberry, satin barked saucerberry, silky barked saucerberry. It's all the same tree, so well done. This is an incredible example of an elephant rubbing post. Now the dam is full of mud, so the elephants come afterwards to rub their body against it, and these big leadwood trees are perfect for it. So if that was your answer, well done. So I'm sure you know that around these water holes you have to be very careful of large animals like these coming down. And when you see a track this size in two halves with so many of them coming around, it's almost certainly buffalo. So if that was your answer, well done. That was a very common bird, it's a very spectacular bird that's found all over Southern Africa. And it was in fact a gray heron. So well done for those of you who've been paying attention. That is an animal that you need to be very careful of if you are around water, it's permanent bodies of water, very careful and drainage lines. So for those of you who are being careful will know that that was a hippo. So watch out. Well done everyone on that field obs. If you got them all correct, you're doing incredible. All right. Now, if you like this video and you wanna see more like it, don't forget to subscribe and check out some more great content on Eco Training's YouTube channel.